What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of The Realistic Crew Man. This is episode number 33 and it is an FA Cup Final special. Yes, I'm so excited for this one. FA Cup Final against Man City. Before we get there though, let's have a look at how both teams got to the final. And it was like we actually had quite a weirdly similar route to the final as City in the third round. We both enjoyed 4-0 victories. Uh, in the fifth round, uh, we both beat championship sides. We um, had to go to a replay with Bournemouth. In the fourth round, we both enjoyed. Uh, sorry, in the fifth round, we both enjoyed four-two victories. Uh, City beat in Bristol City. Uh, we beat Villa away. In the quarter-finals, um, we thumped Fulham away six-nil. Uh, very, very uh, good win that one. I remember it very well. Whilst Man City beat uh, got one up on their rivals. They beat Man United three-nil away to confirm their place in the semi-finals. The semi-final results may have looked a little bit different. Uh, City beat Liverpool 2-1, whereas we required an Alexis Vega extra-time winner to beat Tottenham in a seven-goal thriller. We both had the, the same end goal. We both ended up in the FA Cup final. Similar routes to the final. We now face off 90 minutes away from a piece of silverware for 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 us it would be our first piece of silverware in the save it's our first cup final in the save obviously um just a couple of months ago we got denied a cup final which actually coincidentally would have been against man city uh leeds knocking us out of the carabao cup semi-final uh, turning over a first leg defeat at home they beat us at the city ground a very disappointing night for us but we've bounced back well we're now in the fa cup final I showed you the league table there as well. Man City, top of the league, two games to go. They have a four-point lead. So you, you feel like the league will be theirs. We are fourth. Champions League football is in our hands. We just need to win our last two, and we've confirmed top four status. Well, that's not the focus for today. The focus for today is the FA Cup. We play Man City, and don't let our overall record against City give you a bad image. We've not won in three games against them. We've lost twice drew once we've still got to play them in the league on the final day at home but all three of those games were tight um i remember last season in our first season when we struggled conceded a lot of goals go into the etihad i was thought god we're gonna get battered both games against uh at uh at the etihad against man city a home and away we took the lead early and had plenty of goal scoring opportunities Last season, we ended up drawing. We should have won. This season, City were more clinical. They came back and beat us 3-1. When we hosted City at the, uh, at the City grounds, um, we they, we went 2-0 down. And then the second half, we brought it back to 2-1 and battered Edison in goal, the, the player you're seeing on your screen now. Uh, we battered him for half an hour. We couldn't get that equaliser. And like I said, we've got to host them on the final day, which could be huge for both teams. So two big games coming up against City in a matter of weeks. But... Ultimately, we haven't beaten them yet, and we're going to have to overturn that today to uh, to bring back a bring a first bit of silverware to Forest. Going through the City team, Harland. I mean, just a quick word on him. Last night, he uh, scored against West Ham to break the Premier League record for goals in a single season. He's now scored 35, and he's got four games to go. He's done it in 34 games. The guy's an absolute machine. That was his 51st league goal, uh, sorry, 51st goal of the season in all competitions. Absolutely outrageous. You just run out of superlatives to describe this guy. To, to come into the Premier League from a foreign league, normally players struggle, they take some time, especially players uh, under Guardiola, they take some time. Sometimes they need a second season to, um, to really flourish. Not Haaland, 22 years old, coming to the league and he's just made it his absolute playground. He is a joke of a man. And he could be leading Man City to a league title in the game and in real life as well. Well, looking at our lineup, um, we made nine changes from the side of the beach. Sheffield United in the last game of the last episode. Uh, we obviously made loads of changes for this final in ha uh, in mind. Henderson and Vega, the only players to keep their positions. Vega staying up top. Uh, Reese Nelson in, in that cam position just behind the Mexican. And then Taiwo Wanyu finally gets his run out in at Wembley, he obviously missed the semi-final. We beat Tottenham 4-3 with no recognised strikers. It was an incredible day. Alexis Vega was the star there. He scored twice as we came back from 3-2 three, three, down to win 4-3. Anyway, uh, going into this game, well, City, uh, you know, we ha we actually had the first half chance. It was a block shot from uh, City's right back. And then C went down the other end. KDB finding Haaland. Maguire actually covered really well, intercepted Haaland. And then we gave the ball up quite easily. And there was just a big gap in, uh, in our defence. The right back, 
slash near Carte should have been covering that space when Maguire came over to a challenge. They didn't, uh, and the gap was there. Haaland found Bernardo Silva, and the Portuguese gave Man City the opening goal in this cup final. You just can't afford to give a team like Man City turnovers like that. And they uh, they almost made it 2-0. Haaland weirdly opted to pass this one rather than shoot. He was through and goal in the box. Uh, opted to uh, try to square at KDB. The ball got intercepted by Henderson. Edison forced into his first save of the game before we would equalise 10 minutes before half time. Syankov so uh, finding the ball through to Vega via a one year. I thought this was offside. It was very, very tight. I looked at the replay and it must have been inches. But Alexis Vega onside gets us the equaliser. A nice little uh, ball in behind from Lopez. It's not the first time we've seen him uh, play an exceptional uh, exceptional pass between the lines this season since signing him. Syankov to a one year to Vega. And it's one all. We're back in this game. Five minutes ago before half time. We're just trying to see it out to the half. Man City uh, play a short corner. Syankov actually intercepts, but then turns the ball over again. City get to work, passing it around the box. And, well, Haaland may not have scored, but he has two assists in this first half. He finds Riyad Mahrez, who puts it into the back of the net. Dean Henderson, I don't know. These two goals, he's dived weirdly and, like, the wrong way both times. I don't know. Just not very helpful, let's be honest. Um... And I hate to say it, but Syankov, I think he was the cause of the, he was the first turnover as well. Two turnovers from Syankov in our own third. Two goals for City. Like I said, you can't give a team like this any sort of possession around your box. You can't let them play it around. It's just, you know what it's like, especially when they're on legendary as well. You're going to concede a chance. You're more than likely going to concede a goal. Half time comes around and we uh, we are trailing two one. We we brought it back level with Vega, uh, but it looked, it was only for more than five minutes uh, before Riyad Mahrez restored Man City's lead, and we would have forty five minutes to find a goal. Otherwise, we would be leaving Wembley empty handed. Well, so we started off the second half really strongly. Went at City. Uh, Lopez a tackle came into him, which the ref deemed fair. It looked like an absolute. Uh, he got absolutely crunched. Uh, the ball eventually finds a one year. He plays into Iankov better from the Ukrainian, uh, having influence at this half of the pitch again, but this time for Forrest as he finds Alexis Vega. And this guy loves playing at Wembley. Two braces, four goals in two games for him, a brace in the semi final, now a brace in the final. Alexis Vega has found a shooting boots. I love it. 2 2, we're back tied again. Man City will come down the other end. Uh, Mares. Haaland and Bernardo Silva linking up well before they find Foden and what looked like almost an empty net for Foden to shoot in it. It was from distance, but the, the net did look empty. Henderson did really well to shift from left to right and save the uh, save the goal bound shot. But City would find their third lead of the day. Bernardo Silva getting his second goal of the game. Um, once again, a, a ball played up to Haaland his hold up play was sensational he brought down the ball uh, brought down the ball out of the sky so well controlled it laid it off to Bernardo who ran through a defense that apparently didn't want to tackle him and he scored his second goal of the game and, and secured Haaland's third assist of the game already Haaland then had a chance himself so he went through on goal beat Maguire for pace um, but Henderson saved well to keep us in this game we made a couple subs with 15 minutes to go just to try and see if we could create anything in this game. But it was City that were pressing on looking for the sixth goal. And it just looked like it was going to come for City more than it was going to come for us. Wolf Saha, the uh, former Palace player, uh, denied by Henderson uh, and denying that Haaland a fourth assist of the game. Deep into injury time, Awanyi looking to just create anything. One last gasp chance, but Kanji beaten for pace, has the ball. The ref has the whistle in his mouth and it's all over. It is all over. City win the FA Cup. The 2023-24 FA Cup final ends. Manchester City 3, Nottingham Forest 2. It's a disappointing, a disappointing defeat. We came back twice in the game. Alexis Vega did well to finish. But if I'm being honest, we didn't create too much in this game. Man City's quality just shone. Um... Yes, we were missing key players. I think Burton, and Diaz and Johnson, if they were in this team, they would have made a difference. But you have to rely on what you have on the pitch. And uh, injuries are part of football. And you have to play with the cards you dealt. And unfortunately, it is Pep Guardiola's Man City that will lift the trophy. 
it's a tough one to take. Obviously, we weren't expected to reach a cup final uh, just yet. Their board wanted us to reach the last 16. We absolutely smashed that objective and reached the final. But we fell at the final hurdle and it's a bitter taste that's left in your mouth. But it just motivates you. I want to get back to a final as quickly as I can with a Forest side and win one this time. We still have a lot to play for in the league. You know, two games to go. Champions League football could be coming to the city ground next season, which is crazy to think. Um, after just one season, well, after two seasons, you know, I was expecting maybe Europa League, Europa Conference League, but we've been, we haven't been crazy, crazy consistent, but we've been more consistent than the chasing pack. You know, Chelsea, Arsenal, Man United, West Ham, they've all uh, dipped in and out. It's there. If we won at Champions League football, two wins will secure it. We play Fulham away, who are in a relegation battle. So that's going to be a tough game. And then we host Manchester City at the City ground on the final day, who themselves are battling for a Premier League title, although they have a four-point gap with two games to go. So I assume they will have the title wrapped up. But you never know. You never know. Well, that will be it for today's episode. It was just an FA Cup final special. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's a shame we couldn't bring home the result, but hopefully we can secure Champions League football in the Season 2 finale in Episode 34. Make sure you catch it, and I'll catch you all very soon. Big love. Peace.